Hi Aries, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your monthly tarot forecast for the month of June 2016. This is for Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and Aries Rising Signs. All right, Aries, so for this reading, I will be doing a Celtic cross spread. I do use a Celtic cross spread for all of my monthly forecasts and I'm also using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck along with the Ascended Masters Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. All right, upcoming future messages for Aries in the month of June 2016. What does Aries need to know? All right, Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, this is the overall energy for the month of June. We have the sun. So amazing energy. The sun is the most optimistic card in the entire deck. So this is good luck, good fortune. This is a very blessed energy. Um, this is good health. Uh, this is people being very attracted to you, Aries, um, attracted to your energy. You're going to actually feel, um, you know, I feel like the energy of the sun makes us me feel, excuse me, feel more alive, um, have more energy. Um, so this is, you know, gonna be a, an amazing month for you, Aries. Uh, this is happiness, content. Um, children could be very significant for you um, in the month of, of June. Maybe spending time with your children, spending more time with your children, or um, maybe just uh, nieces or nephews. Um, I feel like for many of you, this is you getting out, enjoying the sun, enjoying the sunshine, uh, maybe going to the beach. Um, okay, so the current energy that's with you right now, now I am filming this right at the end of May. For some of you, this will be the, the energy that you have right in the beginning of June. We have the Hanged Man crossed by the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Hanged Man can represent um, that, that limbo period, that period of suspense where you're maybe having to wait, having to be patient um, with either something to do with career, something to do with finance. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles can absolutely represent um, something going on maybe within your career, or there could be something going on with assets, something going on with um, you know your finances. The Queen of Pentacles can also represent the home. So for some of you, this is you maybe simply waiting on a home or waiting to be able to move to a new home. Um, for some of you, you could be moving to like a beach home. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is abundance. She is financial abundance success. Um, so this could be you waiting on maybe some money to come in or maybe waiting to start a new job because at the foundation I have the Knight of Cups, which the Knight of Cups can, can absolutely represent an offer. Um, for some of you, this is you receiving an offer uh, or some sort of news um, or, you know, this could be also you presenting an offer to someone else. Um, so for many of you, it's an offer or some sort of information or news that's quite significant. Um, I do see the Knight of Cups also as an energy. You are moving towards your happiness. Um, you are definitely making progress, but for some reason, you know, maybe the energy is at a standstill, standstill right now. Sometimes with the energy of the hanged man, you know, spirit will have this energy come in because we do need to take a step back. We do need to look at the larger picture as a whole because there could be something that we're missing or we do need that fresh perspective. Um, in the recent past, I do have temperance, 
which can be you being patient in the recent past. Um, so for many of you, you maybe have been waiting on something for maybe a little bit of time now. Um, patience, in moderation with temperance, um, but also healing. Temperance is a healing energy. It's, it's you being emotionally balanced, and it's also that wonderful divine energy. So this is this is showing me that what is happening right now, Aries, you are being divinely guided. Things are probably very much happening on divine time for many of you. Um, and when it comes to divine timing, it, it's a process. It's a process. It's not something that's just going to happen magically overnight. Um, so this is you waiting, but, um, you know, definitely being divinely guided towards something beautiful. Now, what's crowning you, this is what you're thinking about. We have the King of Cups. Now, this could be a water sign person for some of you. This can absolutely, absolutely be a character. This can be a Scorpio, a Pisces, or a Cancer person, male or female, that maybe you're thinking about. For others, this can be definitely your energy where you're more compassionate, you're more loving. Um, you might be more emotional, but I see the King of Cups as, yes, an emotional man, but he's very much uh, in, in control of those emotions. So on the surface, he's very calm and collected. He definitely is keeping his uh, feelings under control. So for some of you, this definitely could be your energy. I also see the King of Cups as, as a highly intuitive person. So this could be you being highly, highly intuitive um, at this time, right in the beginning of June. Now, coming up in the near future, this is around the second week of June, Aries, I do have the Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant can represent marriage. He can represent committed relationships. Uh, commitments. Um, he does, uh, you know, bring in a more traditional energy, a more conservative energy. Um, he can represent conforming. He can represent documents that are quite significant, paperwork, or even something legal. For some of you, maybe you're waiting on documents or even a decision, something legal, perhaps maybe going on with a, with a home um, or with maybe some sort of assets, inheritances, money, something along those lines. Um, the Hierophant can also represent the company that you work for. For some of you, this is you maybe simply conforming within, um, you know, the company that you work for. Uh, the company that you work for could be quite significant. There could be a lot going on within that company right around this time. Also, for some of you, that you might be dealing with a lot of paperwork or documents at this time. Now... The, in the position of your power, I have the full. So this is amazing. So for many of you, you are taking a leap of faith. There's something that you're going for. Uh, perhaps this it's what you know, you've been waiting on with this hanged man here. The fool is a new beginning. So this is uh, a new beginning that requires you to take that leap of faith. So this is you taking that leap of faith, Aries. This is you um, deciding to walk down a new path, taking a risk. Um, in the position of how other people around you are viewing you, I have the Knight of Pentacles. So this particular knight is actually the only knight who's always quite successful. He's a forward-moving energy, but he moves at a pace that he's comfortable, comfortable with. He's a slower forward-moving energy. So this is people viewing you as definitely uh, moving forward slowly but surely, moving forward, and people v viewing you as definitely going to reach your goal. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles, again, uh, because he's cautious, because he's careful, because he's a planner, and he likes to really um, be strategic. That's the reason why he's always successful. And it's because he doesn't just rush right into something. He puts a lot of thought uh, into the steps that he takes. So this is how people are viewing you. Uh, he also does represent an offer. So for some of you, it's an offer coming in for this beautiful new beginning. Now, in your hopes and fears, I have the Three of Cups, which is you hoping for this wonderful lighter energy. Maybe for some of you, it's hoping to be social, uh, spending more times with more time with friends or family. Uh, the Three of Cups is also success, celebration, hoping to have something to celebrate, going out, maybe celebrating this this new beginning. Now, in the final outcome position, Aries, and I don't want this to upset you because honestly, you have a wonderful spread. The Three of Swords. Now, I do not want this to scare you. I, of course, pulled clarity cards. And the next card that I have with the Three of Swords is the Eight of Swords. So what I really think is going on here is 
you're definitely walking down a new path. You're definitely moving forward slowly. Um, so because things are happening on divine time and because with divine timing everything is a process, you're moving forward slowly but surely. But because what I'm feeling is at the end of June, maybe something hasn't fully manifested. You've, you've definitely decided to take a risk. You're definitely moving in the direction. But because for some of you, you're maybe not um, fully able to celebrate that success just yet. You're just about to. But because maybe it's not happening as quick as you would like it, we have this energy here. Now, the Three of Swords can be simply, for many of you, just unhappy feelings. It does not always mean, um, you know, suffering a great loss or um, being stabbed in the heart or being incredibly sad or brokenhearted. Not at all. This is an energy that can come up when um, we're incredibly not happy with something. Maybe for some of you, you're not happy with the progress uh, something is, is, is making. Um, the next card we have is the Eight of Swords, which can be confusion. This could be you feeling sad um, or not happy because things are confusing at this time. The Eight of Swords is also that mental energy where we're very much in our mind. We're worrying unnecessarily. Unnecessarily. Um, the Eight of Swords is fears, anxiety, stress. Um, yeah, dealing with unnecessary worries, dealing with stress, dealing with anxiety, and you can eliminate this energy. But I do think that for many of you, maybe you are worrying unnecessarily, but I do think that for many of you, it's more of a confusing energy, and that's why we have this Three of Swords. Because things are confusing or maybe left up in the air, that's why we have this Three of Swords. Now, I did continue on pulling cards. So I don't want you to let this Three of Swords get you down because you have to remember all of the other energies that you have. And I think that honestly, this is you feeling down for like a day or two. And it's because things are confusing because right after that, we have success and victory. I have the Six of Rods. I have the Page of Pentacles. And then I have the Ace of Rods. You have some amazing energies that are that are coming in for you. So I do not want you to get hung up on this because I will use myself as an example right now, okay? Um, and this is going back a few months ago. Uh, I was remodeling a home and I had a whole lot of this hanged man energy for myself and the moon, lots of delays, lots of confusion, and I was not the happiest camper. And this is the energy that I was, I was dragging around with me, okay? And it was because I wasn't happy. It wasn't because I had a great loss and it wasn't because I was broken hearted. To be honest, I was a more, I was more annoyed than anything else. So this is the energy that you have, and not all of you, just some of you, because things, I believe, are a little confusing, okay? So I don't want you to think the worst when it comes to that energy, because we do have success coming in. This is victory. This is you feeling proud of yourself, feeling confident, and just, um, yeah, quite victorious, quite successful. And then we have communication, we have news, we have offers coming in, we have new beginnings that are starting. So this can be an offer that's coming in. Maybe it's something that you were waiting on. Maybe, you know, things were confusing. Maybe that offer didn't come exactly when you were expecting it to come. Maybe it was, you know, a day late. <laughs> and that's why we have this energy for some Aries. But we do have it coming in. Now, with the Page of Pentacles, this could definitely be a new job. This is maybe a new opportunity to make more money. And then with the Ace of Rods, this is the most passionate card in the entire deck. So a passionate new beginning, um, a beautiful, exciting new beginning for some of you it's a new job for others it's a new home you know this absolutely could be something going on with a home an offer about a home um, so you have some amazing energies here you're gonna have an, an amazing month of June you have the Sun which is just you know the best energy that you can have Aries let me pull you an additional guidance card for Aries in the month of June. What else does Aries need to know? 
Aries, some additional guidance for Aries. You have lots of beautiful new beginnings coming up for you, Aries. card wants to come out very nice trust 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 that everything is gonna work out in your favor trust Aries so Aries I do hope that you enjoyed this reading and I hope you have a wonderful month of June take care